bunches of oats welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications to get notified every time I post in today's video I'm going to be talking about the first time I decided to get high first time I got high it was around my high school years it was around my junior year to be exact Oof. Me and my friends decided to skip school and you know in high school days every time you don't want to go to a class you could just skip the school, skip the class as easy as that. The same way you get in is the same way you could get out. My friends and I decided to skip school, go to a park because at that time we didn't work, we didn't have money, we had parents money so if the parent decided to give you the money then, then you could do as you please but if you didn't the park is the option she was using her phone she was texting whoever she was texting and she let us know that I think at the time it was her boyfriend her friend I really don't remember at all her best friend I think it was possibly but that person that she knew had weed and if we wanted to smoke if we wanted to chill I'm really skeptical with new people around my area like around my circle I don't be trusting people easily I was like at the time I'm like if my friends are gonna be there what's the worst that can happen right you know he started making the blunt I was like oof so she wasn't lying this girl was serious we about to smoke <laughs> I wasn't scared of nothing I wasn't gonna show nobody that I was like skeptical if I should smoke or not you feel me? I was just like in my head, like talking to myself because there's multiple people in here. I was like, girl, you think this is a good idea? You ain't never smoked before. Girl, you won't get high. When this man finished rolling up the blunt, right? He started passing it around and it was my turn. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> While me and her was smoking, downstairs clearly because that's where we were eventually apparently when we were still smoking downstairs I had the blunt again and I'm just looking at her <laughs> and all I could remember is this girl trying to do O's with a blunt and I'm like oh no I'm too hot <laughs> like it's to the fact like I know I'm too gone if I'm analyzing this girl doing O's with a blunt like I needs to go Blunt, like I needs to go mind y'all I did tell y'all it was when I skipped school so it was around 12 something if I'm sure 12 something I know by 3 something I gotta go cause I don't know if my parents was gonna pick me up I don't know if I gotta go walk home and I don't know where I'm at what's my surroundings I don't know this location I don't know this spot I've never been here <sighs> Lord, it was a mess. It was a mess. I'm smoking the blunt because they handed it back to me. She handed it back to me. I'm smoking this blunt. And I'm like, you know what? This world seems so peaceful. Let me check the time just in case because I'm having a good one. <laughs> I'm checking the time while I'm trying to smoke. And I'm like this. When I tell you my heart dropped to my behind when I saw it was 3.30 I was like oh oh it was like you know when the rewind sound play where it said oh yo that was me that was me bro like my heart dropped it dropped it said oh like I'm telling y'all I was scared I was scared so I'm like, that's when I started panicking because I'm like, okay, now I know we're not in school hours. Now I know either my mom going to start calling me, spamming my phone call because I'm not answering her. And I'm not going to answer her because I'm higher than a kite behind. Like I'm high like a kite, literally. I'm not answering nobody. <sighs> I started panicking, tripping, bugging. Like I started... Oh, no, 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 I gotta, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go, like, it's three something, I gotta go, I gotta dip, like, let's go back, I don't know where I'm at, we 
we gotta go. These people are trying to calm me down. First of all, you cannot calm a high person down because now I'm more like I'm bugging even more. Like, are you crazy? I'm telling you, we could, I'm telling you, if we gotta go, we gotta go. And you standing there like trying to calm me down. You ain't no therapist. We got to go. What you mean? So, <laughs> when I tell y'all, the more they try to calm me down, the more I panic. The more they try to calm me down, the more I was bugging. The more they try to calm me down, the more I was tripping. I was doing everything but calming down. Like, if you see I'm not calming down, can we get up out of here? When I tell y'all, in my brain, I was having that so raving moments. You know when she had a, a supposedly flashback going on with her head? That was me. Like, it was to the point that I had a supposedly flashback where I seen a video of somebody saying supposedly if you drink milk, you not high no more. I don't know where I got that from in my head and I still don't know because one thing for sure, two things for certain, I don't even like milk. I don't even like milk and that's the first thing that comes in my head as a that's a raven flashback. Be for real. Be for real. I really started bugging, asking them to give me a cup of milk. Like, I really started tripping on these people to go give me a glass of milk. And if y'all wasn't going to, I'm going to whoever house and get it myself. Like, it was that bad. They looked at me like I was stupid with all rights because I was stupid to think. <laughs> I was really stupid enough to really think that milk was going to stop me from being high. I was just so... 2 plus 2 for me back then was 22. It wasn't 4. If I thought milk was going to stop me from being high, 2 plus 2 going to equal 22. They went to give me the milk. When they came from out their house to give me the milk, I really dogged it. Like, I dogged that milk, and I don't even like milk. And I really finished it like it was water. And the moment I realized when I was done, I'm still high. Higher than ever. Like, I was gone. That's why I'm like, hell no. <laughs> I was like, hell no. I got to go. And all y'all people stopping me from leaving. Oh, y'all are crazy. When I tell y'all my mother started calling me non-stop, this lady started ringing and ringing and ringing. And ringing and ringing and ringing and ringing my phone she did not stop and I was not answering you I could even speak English you think I'm answering you hell no <laughs> I'm not sorry she would have had she had better chance to call Dora the Explorer cuz the way I was not gonna answer my phone she should have called Dora the Explorer to see from the map where I'm at because I ain't answering Buki I decided to try and walk, literally to try to walk my way back and I didn't know where I was going. I really couldn't comprehend the location I was at. I don't know if I was going to get kidnapped. In my head, I just want to go home. I tried to walk back to the school. I couldn't make it. I couldn't even make a centimeter. Like I stopped by some school on some gates. I was landing. I was leaning on gates. Like, I don't remember nothing. And everybody's just staring at me. And I'm trying not to spaz out because I'm too high to be fighting you. And I'm not trying to get my wit because I'm going to get my wit if I talk. <laughs> I decided, I don't know how. I really don't know how. But I really decided to walk back to that house because they were still there. I decided to walk back. And just sit down just to relax and everybody stayed calling my phone my brother my stepdad my mother I wasn't gonna answer but eventually I answered the phone they had to speak for me they had to speak for me because I couldn't get a word out it was like I swore to myself I was talking but I wasn't really talking like that's how gone I was. I wasn't even speaking English. <laughs> that was some good weed. If I got it now, I know how to act. <laughs> my friends at that time, they grabbed my phone and they was talking to them for they could give them the location I was at. 
eventually my brother ended up having my location now eventually my brother ended up finding where I'm at they decided to leave my hide behind right there in front of the house because they had to go. How you gonna leave a first time person that got high by themselves? But that happened. They left me in front of the house and I was just chilling in the steps, sitting down, waiting. And you know how I told y'all that things started moving up in my face so close and personal that I couldn't even open my eyes if I wanted to. It's the fact that when I had my eyes closed, I was visioning myself in my house looking for my door keys to open my room door. That's how bad. And I'm like, oh, I'm home. Nothing happened. I open my eyes. I'm still higher than a kite. I was gone. So eventually, my parents pulled up. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus, because without them, I don't know where I was going to be. <laughs> I'm telling you. My parents pulled up along with my brother because, they, you know, they was in the car. They pulled up. They got me. When they put me in that car, I was so gone. I don't know what was going on. I didn't care what was going on. I know in my head that my parents had me. That's all I cared about. I really don't care. Mind you, I had food. They took it from me. Like, my parents really took that food from me. So, I'm in that car playing with my tongue. I couldn't even feel my tongue. I was just mem mesmerized. I was just really mesmerized with my tongue. I was just out of it. Like, oh, I can't even feel my tongue. I'm so numb. Somebody could punch me in my face. I'm not going to feel it. Like, girl, I thought I was Superwoman. I'm like... <laughs> When I tell y'all I thought I was superwoman because I couldn't feel nothing. Like, I swear if somebody even hit me with a truck, I couldn't feel it. Like, that's how gone I was in that car. Like, gone. So, my brother looking at me like I'm stupid. My mother in the passenger seat just turning around, breaking her head, looking at me scared. Like, what's wrong with my daughter? I was tripping. When I calmed down, when I was in the car, when I was calming down a little bit, like, I wasn't acting stupid no more. Like, I wasn't playing with my tongue. I was... <laughs> because I was with family, I guess. And I knew my surroundings. I started getting hungry. Like, I really started getting hungry. And I'm like, oh, I want my food. She was about to give me my food, right? She was about to give me my food. And guess who ruined it? My stepfather. No, 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 no. Don't give her no food. Because that's what she going to be so by. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, do you not want me sober? Like, what's going on here? Like, what you mean? Give me some food. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. What you mean? What type of time are you on? You didn't take care of your daughter last time I drank. So, <laughs> we ended up in downtown, right? There was a guy in front of a uh, furniture store just smoking his vape, right? And I'm with my windows down just staring at him. Like, I'm telling y'all. I broke my neck to stare at this man. Like, I'm talking about like this. And I'm just having an eye-eye connection. Like, and he looking back at me. But I'm still staring at him. Because, like, he laughing. And he turned his head. And I read his lips. He was like, what the? Did she keep looking at? Da -da -da -da. Now, mind you, when I kept staring at this man, I was already taking off my seatbelt. Like, I was moving so slow because I know if I yelled out this car window, my mother was going to whip me. If she even hears me hollering, she going to whip me. So the way I did it, I took off my seatbelt. I put the armrest up so I could have opportunity to jump in the back. For me, who you whipping? Not me. Double it to the next. As I was proceeding to... Remove my seatbelt so slow. Like, I was moving in the most slowest way. I don't know if I was going to get caught. I don't know if my brother next to me was watching me doing it. I don't know. I just didn't want my mother to catch me. I was moving mad slow. Even with the armrest. When I looked at this man one more time, and he's still there looking at me, I yelled out so loud. I was like, yo, I'm high as... I'm mad high like <laughs> when I tell you I yelled that out I already jumped to the back seat because I knew my mother was gonna turn around and exactly what she did she turned around like man oh I have 
She was ready to whip me if I didn't, if I did not move. She ready to whip me the way she turned around. No, we were still in downtown waiting for my stepfather. I don't know where he was at. I truly don't know where he was at. I was just waiting for him to come from wherever store he was at. Can y'all believe that these people really took me to the doctors like something really wrong with me? Like, I know I was bugging. I know I was bugging, but y'all didn't have to take me to no doctor like I was crazy either. Oh, y'all nuts. They took me to the doctors. They holding me as if I couldn't walk. I could walk. Y'all didn't need to treat me like a psycho. So... <laughs> They trying to put me on the bed. I was fighting it. At this point, if y'all want to make it seem like I'm crazy, I'm going to act accordingly. Hella nurses had to come help me to carry me to the bed. And I'm just laughing because it's the fact that y'all really think I'm crazy. And the only thing I am is just high. Like, why y'all treating me like I'm a psycho? He was there just chilling, waiting. It's the fact that even cops came. i never seen this in my lifetime because even cops... I don't even do the po-po. I don't even do the po-po. And you invited the cops in here? Girl, they could have arrested me. <laughs> they didn't give a damn. They just wanted the cops there. Everybody there. It's a whole family reunion, apparently. I was next to me asking me stupid questions as if I don't know where the hell I'm at. Clearly in a doctor. Like what city, what state. Are you dumb? <sighs> then the door was wide open, right? The door was wide open. They ain't never closed it. The doctor, everybody talking to me. But I just feel eyes. You know when you feel like someone's staring at you and when you look, they really staring at you? That's what I felt. And I'm feeling eyes just here, just here, just here in my face, in my area. Like, what you looking at? So when I turned around, I saw a lady. And back then, my mouth was really reckless. Back then, my mouth, I could not control it. Like, I was ready to swing, fight argue i'm ready to do it all like i really didn't care oh my goodness i feel bad for that lady girl child i feel bad for her she looked at me and at first i gave her a stank face i was like the f what you looking at bro she looked away cool try to mind my business the business that god gave me i try to mind it and try to pay attention to the doctor and whoever. But again, I'm feeling eyes in my space like, girl. So I'm looking once again and it's the same person looking at me. When I tell y'all cursed her out, I was like, what the f you looking at, B? Can you mind your business? You all in my face worry about your kids, not me. What the hell you looking at? You acting like you ain't never seen somebody so damn high. What's your problem? Hello? said all of that the nurses the doctor the police already staring at me like what the fuck and they looked and that doctor closed that door so quick you should have done that from the jump you should have done that from the jump because you wanted me to cuss her out because you know every time you come in my room you close that door this ain't nothing new but today you feel like you didn't want to close the door you should have done that eventually when we got out the doctors, it's the fact that an ambulance was brought to me and and I had to go in the ambulance and I was really treated like I was a psychopath. Like, I don't know how else to explain it because these people at the like ain't nobody been high before in their life and y'all treating me like this, like a uh, ambulance, a hospital for what reason? Now I gotta go to a hospital. Like, are you bugging? My mom's next to me. I'm chilling and I'm just staring into space and I feel like me being so high that I was, I feel like my eyes was cockeyed like i feel like my eyes was going Ur. this ambulance guy he saw me i don't know if he saw my eyes going Ur. he wanted to see my eyes i guess i don't know he took out this pen thing with a light and he checking my eyeballs to see what's going on i don't know that's what he did we ended up at the hospital they put me in a wheelchair and i was having fun i was having fun as long as y'all push me and i don't gotta walk i don't give a damn so i was telling the nurses i was like oh you gonna give me a snack because i'm hungry it's the fact that nurses really do be lying just to make you calm cool collected yeah i'm gonna get you a snack mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know you was lying because i ain't never seen a snack to this day
they took they job very serious and they wanted me to pee in my head i was like i'm pissing what's wrong with y'all like there's nothing wrong with me there's nothing wrong with me but just being high why the hell do i gotta piss in a cup or piss in a bottle like why do i gotta piss for like that makes no sense to me you tell me why i gotta piss we all know i'm high you just want them test results to be positive be for real one of the doctors was whispering to my mother talking about some If you pee and she see you peeing, that makes her want to go pee. But I mean, it did work. Obviously, if you see somebody peeing or you know somebody gonna go pee, that makes you want to pee too. As a female, I don't know about I don't know about males, but yeah. So I ended up pissing. <laughs> I didn't even feel like having to pee, but I saw my mother, so I peed. And I thought she was gonna wet my behind in that bathroom, low key low key low key i really thought because my mother don't care usually she would whip my behind even in front of people i'm surprised but child i thought one on one a long time i thought she was gonna mm, mm, i thought she was gonna whip me bad she ain't touch me she ain't do nothing she was tight she was tight that lady was tight but she ain't touch me thank you jesus we waited there eventually my older brother came i don't know where he came from but he came in the room while we was waiting a doctor came in and a doctor trying to get me to talk oh did you smoke why you did it da, da, da. i was like i wanted to try it i did it's already done what's done is done what couldn't they do like y'all already know i smoke what's the point of doing the test like be for real when the doctor was done talking to me that's when i was able to go home blah 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 so that's what we did we got in the car we was on our way to the house, but I knew something funny was going to happen and I was going to get my whipped either at the house or in the car. One of the two. My stepdad was driving. My older brother was in the passenger. I was behind my stepfather. My mother was behind my brother next to me. My little brother was all the way in the back. And I was like, oh, it's going to happen here. I'm going to get my whipped bed. I know it. I know it. Because ain't no way she gonna sit next to me and I'm not gonna get no consequence from it. I knew it. We got in the car. My stepfather already about to drive off. And as he, as he was driving, next thing you know, my mother grabbed me and let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. My mother hits like a man. Let me tell y'all, my mother got a lot of rings on her hands. And the way that she hits in general is a man strength. So this girl is going to knock me. She going to kill me. F knocking me out. She is going to kill her. Kill me. This lady is going to kill me. She's going to aim to kill me. Like I'm squirt for my life. Like I'm squirt. <laughs> my stepfather. My stepfather. He's driving back to the house. And like I told y'all who was where. Blah blah blah. Next thing you know. I'm thinking I'm safe. But I'm scared deep inside because this time I listen to my gut intuition because I know I'm going to get my whipped. I know I'm going to get I'm going to get whipped. I knew it. This lady comes out of nowhere. This lady comes out of nowhere and just grabbed me and started swinging like she started swinging like a man like this girl literally hitting me all type of different places in my body like me 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 my 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 you saw baddies to what's her name takishi takashi tasiki tasiki where she said let me teach you baby let me teach you stuff yeah that was my mother that was my Bro, that was my mother. My mother ate me, bro. My mother dogged me, bro. Like, she literally tried to kill me. If it wasn't for my older brother, if it wasn't for my older brother to hold this lady hands, like, I'm telling you, I don't know how he did it because he was in the passenger and there's space between them. I don't know how he did it, but he did it. That's the law. Thank you, Jesus. He held on to her hands to stop hitting me. Because this girl was just going to kill me. Like, this girl was me, 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 back to back. It was just, you know when you want to kill somebody and you just keep hitting and hitting and hitting and hitting and hitting. And you know you're not going to stop until someone either stop you or push you away. That was my mom. 
I had it bad. <laughs> you know, in the old generation of family, if you do something bad as a child, the old generation family gonna always, you remind me just like your father and da da da. Like you wanna be like that, mom. You wanna be like that motherfucker with all these drugs and da da da. That's what you wanna do. That's what you wanna do. Out of all my kids, you wanna, yeah. 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 But let me tell y'all something. Now I do as I please. I could smoke a blunt, two, three, four, six, seven, twenty. I could do as I please. I don't get my bit whipped. <laughs> I feel like there's always the black. I feel like there's always the black sheep in the family, and the black sheep of this family, me. Because I was the one who always dared to do something I'm not supposed to. There's so many stories I could do. It's ridiculous. There's a lot of stories I could do. But I don't know if I want to expose it. <laughs> yeah. I got whipped bad. I got whipped bad. She even talking about some. She was talking about some. She going to transfer me to schools. And da 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 da. But. That was the anger in her that was speaking because she ain't never transferred me. She was just tight and she was just scared for her daughter. There was a squirrel right there. Oh, I hate squirrels. They just look ugly. There is other stories I could do. It's just a matter of time if I feel like doing it. I don't know. But on that note, if you guys enjoyed this story time, please like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications if you want to keep watching me. If you want to keep staying in tuned with me. And I will catch you guys with God first on the next video.